there are many devices uh, which have ethernet uh, connectivity but at the same time doesn't have a wireless or wi wi-fi connectivity how we can uh, connect these devices like uh, smart tv media player game console or the traditional uh, cisco juniper routers or any other router that matter wirelessly so i'm using a tp link tl wr702 and nano router it is a very small router and um, looks like uh, smaller than a credit card you can see here uh, the width and um, length wise if you see it's a 56 57 mm uh, it's as small as a credit card and you can put it in your pocket and the cost is only uh, uh, australian dollar 24 dollar which i got it from uh, msy so uh, i i'll show you how to configure this as a client mode so this will act as a client on behalf of your uh, ethernet capable devices and to connect wirelessly to the adsl modem and to the internet so i am using a web browser and i'm um, using the ip address uh, 192168 uh, um 1.108 that is the one i have already configured earlier so the basic setup shows here um it's already uh, in the client mode but i'll just go through the quick setup and show how it has been done so it will be easy for you to do because there is a trick which is not mentioned in the tp link website so here since i clicked on um, quick setup click next then it will go to the next window which is the configuration okay select the client configuration click again next then it displays the quick setups here so you can see here i have already had a ssid but in your case what you can do is you can just click survey then it will show all wireless uh, connectivity or wireless uh, available in your area but you have to select your own so i have to select i'm just selecting w lan ap that is the one i have uh, i have disabled my security for just showing because i don't want to show you what is the ip address okay you know, sorry the password you will see and most important thing is that to select uh, wds mode that is wireless distribution mode uh, by default it will be auto but you have to choose three uh, addr three address mode and then let's choose this one it's not going to work properly so that's what i want to show you here and after that if okay, you click next then you need a reboot so i'm not going to do a reboot because it takes time so it's already connected basically it's been configured so this is the configuration we have to do i'm using a putty to connect my uh, juniper srx 100 device so i'm going to use 192.168.1.128 that is the one so the putty will be opened uh since it's open the my next screen i have to just uh, drag and drop here so i'm going to uh, use a name our net and i have a password so i already connected so this is a real router i have just connected so version so and what is the ip address i got i can just show you show interface tersi that is the command has to show so the fe that is fast ethernet port 0.0 i got the ip address 192.168.1.128 that's what i used for connecting now let me just ping internet and see how it is working so to uh, test the internet connectivity i'm pinging 8.8.8.8 that is the yahoo dns server ip address and you can see it's able to i already configured even for the dns also because the as uh, the dns uh, server ip is 8.8.8.8 in my configuration so i can ping even using my dns that is um, domain names so yahoo.com and you can see i have a connectivity so that's this video demonstrate okay i have uh, connected my uh, router wirelessly to the adsl modem to access internet as well as wirelessly access the, or manage the device so at your convenient sitting anywhere at your office or home you can just access this one this you no need uh, your laptop or tablet has to be connected wired to your uh, uh, devices 
so this is what i just want to demonstrate hope uh, uh, this is very useful tip for for you uh, give your uh, valuable comments and i'll try to modify in my next videos thanks a lot